Hello everybody and welcome to the evilest horror game ever. That's a weird name for a game. Um, this is a game jolt horror game that came out yesterday, so I'm a little nervous. But it looked pretty good, so I thought I'd give it a try. It's made by the same people who made, uh, Nomad, which is the demon backwards. That was pretty spooky, so hopefully this will be pretty good. Story based off of your player's choices. The consequences of all your game action decisions will impact the future. Choose wisely. Alright. Based on true story. Not a true story. Based on true story. Ooh. You death, sin, evil, murder, please. Kill soul, psych. Psych. Got him. You death sin. Oh, can I move? Nope, I can't move. That's the the game controlling. In association with RG Entertainment. Uh oh. There's a shark around. You okay? Oh, she moves. That's gonna be messed up. We're going to need a bigger boat. Oh, God. Is he dead, too? I have no idea. Oh, God. I have... <laughs> what is going on? Oh, look, a red dot. It's very, like, blurry. Jeez, a whiz. Ooh. A lot of cutscene going on. Oh! Oh! Nice. <laughs> Was it the sniper saying nice? So, everything started several years ago. It was the 1st of March 2010. A man went into a hotel and asked to see me, the boss. When I came, the most terrifying story began. Is room 39 empty? <laughs> oh, E. Oh, I'm playing. Oh, oh. Is room 30? Uh, yeah. Yes, sir. Can I book it? Oh, I can't say no on this one. Of course you can. Thank you. Before going through the room, <laughs> the client asked me to provide him with a black knife, 39 centimeter wide thread, and a 73 gram orange. I agreed, though I was surprised at the weird things the client asked to have. Okay. <laughs> The client went into his room, but oh. he didn't ask for food or anything else. He asked for an orange. Unfortunately for me, my room was next to room 39. Okay, that's weird. I don't know what's going on. Oh, there I go. I'm off. Is this mine? Verse 39. 26. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Got some Resident Evil stuff going on. Oh, hi. Room 28. Nothing, can't read it. Oh, and a washing machine. Why? Okay, sure. Hold on. Oh, there's 39. So this must be open. Am I dead? This just feels like a game where if I choose wrong, I'll just immediately die. Oh, that's quite nice in here. Key. Sure. I'll take it. I'll take the kill. The kill? The key that's on the pillow. Oh, what's this? After midnight... 
heard strange voices and noise in that client's room. Voices of wild animals and utensils and dishes being thrown on the floor. Maybe he's watching- Oh god! I didn't sleep that night. I kept thinking and wondering what might be the source of the noise. Oh my gosh! Why is it tilting? This is- It's making me a little queasy. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Okay. Open. I'm sure there's nothing bad going on. He's probably just watching TV. Watching some terrible, terrible TV. Open keypad and knock. That's a tough decision. I don't know if he'd hear the knock. I can't actually interact anymore. Um, hello? Oh, there we go. Let's just open it. Locked! Keypad! A, B, C, D. Enter. Nope. Guess I'm knocking! Or can I use my items? Do I have the... Okay, no. Knock. I can't. Oh, I am knocking. Okay, I can't... Okay, just put in whatever. I can't see what's happening. Hello? Well, that's not working. Uh... Well, what do I do? I have to explore my room a little bit. When the client oh. handed me the keys, I asked to see the room first. I'm sure everything's fine. Oh, is that me? Do 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 that do. Oh, I gotta walk all the way to the end. Oh god. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. Oh, it is fine. Okay, great. I went to that room and found everything all right. Nothing. Oh, there's the do. stuff. I even found the thread, the black knife, and the orange on the table. Okay, that's weird. No. Uh, I found a paper. Uh, what has four letters? Sometimes nine letters, but never has five letters. A note. I don't know. What? Do I have to type that in somewhere? I'll get to that when I figure out what I need it for. Oh, here we go. Four letters. Ooh. The bill and gave the bellboys a very good tip and left the hotel smiling. I was in a shock, but I didn't reveal what I had to the bellboys. In fact, I started to doubt myself. Oh, God, jeez, one year, <laughs> a whole year. Oh, is he going to be back? After one year, the client showed up again, asked to see me again. I was in a... Oh, he's going to ask me about the puzzle. Oh, hi, you weirdo. 39 empty. Um, sure. Yes, sir. Can I book it? Yeah. Of course you can. Thank you. Okay. I asked the same things. Room 39. Nine black knife, 39, 39 centimeter white centimeter thread, and, thread and 73 gram orange. 73 gram orange. This time, I wanted to know the truth by all means possible. 
I spent a sleepless night waiting for something to happen. Look. Oh, here we are again. Dude, just use your freaking skeleton key. Oh, it's the note. You found a paper. It says 3 plus 9 equals 12. 9 minus 3 equals 6. 6 minus 1 equals 5. 2 plus 5 equals 25. Fantastic. Oh, it's a code. But what was the... Oh, what did the other note say? Ah, okay, open this up. Okay, so it's probably the code to the door. Oh, ooh, jeez. Lights had to come on. Uh, open locked, of course. Oh, crap, what did the... What did the note say? Oh, you suck. 25. 12... Okay, let's try 12.25. God dang it, I can't remember. I thought it would stay up in the corner. Dang it! That's not gonna work. Oh my gosh. Again, before leaving, the client paid his bill and left a large tip on the table for the bellboys. The smile didn't leave his face. I started searching for the meaning of everything the client asked to have. Why did he ask room 39? Why the white thread? Why the black knight? In fact, I didn't arrive to any convincing answers to all these questions. I was now eagerly waiting for the month of March, the month in which the client showed up. Why don't you put, like, a camera in the room? To my surprise, on the first day of March, the same client showed up. Oh, God, why would it be to your surprise? You were waiting for him. Oh, it's a little creepier now. Yep. Yes, sir. Can I book it? Yep. Of course you can. Thank you. He asked the same question. Wanted to book the same room, wanted to have the same things as before. Oh god, oh it's really I dark now. Heard the same noises, this time more louder than before. Uh there's something who can catch uh there's something who can catch but can't throw. A dog? Um is it a sickness? Who can catch but can't throw? I feel like the I feel like there's like a language barrier here. A translation issue, if you will. Oh god. Oh, it's getting worse. Um. Um. I don't know. I don't know anymore. We're just gonna see what happens after like 18 weeks. In the morning, when the client was leaving the hotel, I apologized politely to him and asked to know the secret behind the noises in the room. Oh, hi. If I tell you the secret, do you promise to never reveal it to anyone else? Oh, cool. He's just gonna tell me. Yeah, sure. Promise. I promise I will never let anyone know. Swear. Swear. I swear I won't reveal your secret. Can't reveal to me a secret. <gasps> and you know what? What? Until now. I haven't revealed this secret to anyone. But I sworn him, so I won't tell it to anybody. Maybe someday I'll Dang it! let you know. Ah! Thank crap! You blank. We hope you enjoyed. <laughs> oh, you troll bag. God dang it! Was the whole thing a troll? Or did I, was I really that bad at the, ah, god dang it.
Oh, April Fool's special. Ah, dang it. I hate it. People who do pranks on April Fool's. They're terrible people. Let me tell you. Good God. Um... I don't know if there was anything to those codes. I have no idea. But, um... I don't have time to figure it out. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll put a link in the description to the game. Maybe there's something in there. I don't know. Um, go check out some of the videos I made. Don't forget to share it if you liked it. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.